guys, we are we are extending our pasture fence for the dogs so that the dogs will have a little area of their own. Originally, we did our fence with red brand, no climb fence, black, and that's a pretty heavy duty fence. It's made for horses and whatnot so that it doesn't hurt them and they can't get their hooves in it. So we are just going to do field fence, just regular welded wire field fence. I got it from Home Depot for the dogs because we don't really need anything that's going to be super sturdy to hold in you know a thousand pound animal or anything so uh, we're going to do that i got it at home depot i got to get my fence stretcher out though i'm going to put a little stretch on it because i can't do it enough by hand i made this fence stretcher uh, so i will show that here in a second okay so this is our uh fence stretcher right here it uh I made it just out of a couple two by fours and then you can see I got a little piece of field fence on it for when I stretched the I don't think I did this chicken the chicken coop but this is kind of how you do it you sandwich two two by fours together between the fence and then I have a bolt right here hooked to a chain and then I have a couple come alongs that I'll use but uh, I found that two come alongs works the best so you can put one at the top and one at the bottom so you can straighten the fence out one way or the other but uh, this is what it is. I got to take it apart, put it on the new fence, and then stretch it real quick and then tack it down. Okay, so I've got to take it apart and I'm running out of daylight, so I might not get all this on one video, but. Uh, this is this is kind of how I did our other fence. Maybe right, maybe wrong. It's just the way I did it. <laughs> okay, so what I got is here's the fence stretcher that I made. It's a two by four. I've got some like four inch long, uh, just threaded bolts basically, and then I put one side through the fence like that. I grab the other side that has holes drilled in it to line up. Put that on put that on the fence, sandwich it together, and then I'll hook it up to the tractor bucket right here with the come along. And I use the tractor just because it's just quicker and easier. Um, I used my pickup truck before, so whatever you got, whatever you got will work. Like I said, I used the pickup truck when we didn't have the tractor or a tree, or you can do you know, half the fence and then use your corner post as the brace post. Uh, but I'll try to set this up so I can get kind of a shot of how it goes together. it is if you can if you can see it if it's bright enough but I've got it stretched it's it's pretty tight uh, I would say I would say the only downside to this field fence is it's not as thick a gauge metal so you can't stretch it nearly as tight and ho hopefully it holds its its uh, tautness but I put three or four staples in each uh, in each post and I'll put a, a few more in there and I kind of like hooked and looped over here. With the no climb, they recommend that you go all the way around the post, but with this, I think it's just a little bit overkill and I didn't think it was really necessary. So I'll tie it in like all these little loose ones right here, I'll tie in and wrap around. Um, but like I said, it's not, this is this is pretty thick gauge and I stretched this as tight as I could and it's still kinda, still kinda wavy, but there it is. 
again. <laughs> it's alright.